market is we have an internal market we need a level playing field we need to make sure that protection for workers in one country also means protection for workers in other countries and that at least we have minimum norms in the European Union on these issues. Now, I think it is absolutely needed and it is most important because we see in the European Union that we become more and more mobile. 17 million people in the EU live or work in a different country than they're originally from. At the same time, we see that uh, national inspections, labor inspections, social inspections are still uh, limited by the national borders. If we want to have a fair labor mobility, we need to also make sure that inspections can work across border. I think the, uh, the most important issue will be, of course, what kind of competences will we give this labor authority? Um, what is its role when, for instance, we organize joint and concerted inspections? What kind of information is it supposed to provide to employers and individuals? One issue that, of course, is a big difference between the Parliament and the uh, Council's position is we call it the European Labor Authority. Council calls it a European Labor Agency. These are some of the issues that we'll have to find a solution for. I would love for the European Labour Authority to solve all of the problems that we have in the European Union when it comes to free mobility, when it comes to labour exploitation, when it comes to social, uh, social fraud, but this is not realistic. Uh, what I do think uh, that the European Labour Authority can do is help member states tackle abusive practices, help member states cooperate with each other, help member states to learn from each other. And I think if we can set this labour authority in motion and we can build on its experience and the experience from the member state, it can and it will make a difference. That's a very, a very broad, uh, a broad question. Uh, I think it's always interesting because labour social policy is of course first and foremost a competence of the member states. We don't decide how old you have to be before you get your pensions or what kind of unemployment benefits you get. What I think the most important thing for the European Union to organize is two things. To make sure that for those people who work across borders, who are mobile, that they are only uh, reaping the benefits of European cooperation and don't, uh, are not confronted with a lot of obstacles, bureaucracy and negative consequences. So we need to make sure that those people who are willing to go cross border can do so and be successful. The second point is we have an internal market. We need a level playing field. We need to make sure that protection for workers in one country also means protection for workers in other countries and that at least we have minimum norms in the European Union on these issues. It's always difficult to speak of victories and failures. I think for me, when we started uh, four and a half years ago, uh, for me it was very important to, to join Marianne Thijs in her uh, efforts to make sure we don't only have a free mobility, but we also have fair mobility. And I think one of the biggest successes has been the revision of the Posting of Workers Directive. Failures, I don't think we've had many failures. What I'm concerned about, and it's very important for me because I come from a cross-border region, most beautiful region of the Netherlands, Limburg, just wanted to say that, uh, is that if we fail to revise the coordination of social security regulation in this term, I think that will be a failure. There's a lot of people counting on this and we should deliver on it. Well, you see that there is a lot of issues, maybe more than ever, that are, are capturing the, the public mood when we speak about the European Union. Security, migration, fair mobility, European labour market. Uh, and in order to influence that, you have a chance to influence it and you have that chance at the European election. So please go to the elections, vote, vote for whoever you think can represent you best but make sure you use that influence, that right that you have.